Hello and welcome to the Asgard Management Center demonstration video. I'd like to welcome you all to this. If you've ever wondered how to create and run a Thor or Spark Scan remotely, well, you're at the right place. Well, the first thing you need to do is to download your Asgard agent. And once that's installed on your endpoint, then you're ready to go. So all you have to do is log into the administration. And I've already logged into this account, so I'm just gonna click on administration. So the first thing we see here is a system status. And as you can see, our Asgard Management Center is healthy. And you currently see your Asgard versions and your Thor Spark versions as well here. And you see the amount of licenses that you have available. Now, the first thing you wanna do is check your assets. So I'm gonna click on Asset Management and you'll see here a list of my assets that I have in here. I currently have eight assets. And those are eight endpoints that are currently connected to my Asgard Management Center. Now, what you will see here are different items about each individual endpoint. We see the host name, we see the, uh, the IP addresses that it has, we see the first scene, the last scene, and the last time it was scanned, as well as what type of operating system is on the system. And here we see the labels. Now, these labels are important because you can later group your endpoints into uh, groups of endpoints. And that will allow you to create your group scans based on a label. Now, as you can see here, I have several connected to a data center with that label on there, and then I have different locations. So you can create these labels as, as you wish. You can define these on your own. Now, you can create them individually by adding a label here and clicking the plus sign after you've, con after you've uh, connected to one of them. But the easiest way to do that is then to do an import-export. Now, when we do an asset label, export. We not only get the labels, but we also receive all of the endpoint information that's available after a Asgard agent interrogate has been run. So this will assist you in comparing it to your CDBM database. And you may find some systems out there that you don't have registered. Well, you can also import the systems from your own CDBM database and upload them into the Asgard Management Center as well. Now, when you upload the CSV file, you can add your own labels or remove your own labels as you wish, okay? So now that I've talked about that, what I'm going to do now is show you how you can run a single scan. All you have to do is click on one of the systems that you wanna scan. And here you can start a single scan. Now, by clicking on that, we decide whether it's a Thor or a Spark scan, and we pass any command line arguments that we'd like to have. Now, I'm gonna run this single scan here so you can see what happens. As you can see, we get a notification that it is applying the action. So, when we see here in our scan control under single scans now that we have a single scan running on the CentOS system, and I'm using Thor for that. So it is currently running, and if I click on that, we will see a little more information about the individual scan. Okay. So now I'm going to go back into scan control and I'll show you what it looks like with group scans. And I'll talk about group scans in a way that'll help you to schedule and uh, perform scans on groups of systems. Like I said before, if you have your labels configured correctly, then when you click on a new group scan, it's very simple. You choose whether you want a Thor or a Spark scan to run. By the way, if it's a Linux system and you choose Thor, uh, the Asgard Management Center will automatically use Spark for the scan. So we give the, the group scan a name, and we're going to call this our uh, weekend data center scan, okay? Now, we want it to run a quick scan, and we want the log files get sent back to the Asgard Management Center for later analysis and passed on to our analysis cockpit, and we'll talk about that in a separate video. Again, you can pass on any individual command line arguments that you'd like to have in this position. For example, if you want to put in your SIEM system, you would just type in your arguments to pass the data on to a SIEM system in a case of an alert. So we, when we talk about the client limit, that's the number of max number of systems that we want to be scanned in this group scan. And if we look at the client rate, well, we recommend uh, two per minute, and that all depends on the amount of systems you have connected to your Asgard Management Center. And if we look at the expiration date, well, we want this scan to be valid for at least two weeks. And what that means is that if a system is offline during this time when we create this group scan and it's included in this group, 
then the next time it comes online, if it's within the next two weeks, it will receive this scan as a new scan order. So do we want this to run as a cron job? Well, yeah, I want this to run, uh, let's say this every month, okay? And then I choose my labels. Now, these labels is a drop-down list that shows you any labels available that you have in your asset management. And I just want to choose my data center here. So I'm going to create this group scan. And again, we get that prompt saying everything is being applied. And at the bottom of the list, we see the scheduled scan of the data center assets. Okay, now I saw this weekend data center scan that I just created every 30 days and it expires after 14 days. Yeah, now I'm going to start this and when I do, it will be enabled. Okay, and that will start to run. As you can see, in the past, I have several scheduled scans that I'm running continuously and you see that they're started and that they've also completed. So if we look at the uh, response at the licensing, you can take a look in here at the, at the licensing, and you can see I have um, a thousand server licenses and a thousand client licenses available, and I'm currently using five server and three client licenses. Now, if you get a if you receive a license file from us, then you can just upload your file here by selecting File and Upload It. And okay, so if you would like to generate licenses for offline scanning away from outside of the Asgard system, well, you just type your host name in the server license or client license boxes and you can download, download those zip files uh, containing the license files, okay? So if we take another look at our scan control, I'm going to show you now what it looks like when a completed scan has run. And if we open this up, we click on one and you'll see you get a lot more information when you open up one of the scans. And we see first of all that it is a staggered issuing to the systems and as I stated before there are only four systems that are in my data center group so I'm only scanning four endpoints at the moment. Well we see that they've been staggered for the issuing and the response they've completed staggered as well. Now that's going to save you bandwidth and it's going to save you CPU power as well by doing that. You know, we see that it ran a total of 0.3 hours so we're looking at about 20 minutes to scan those four systems. Okay. And down here, we see an additional information that we have about the scan. I did a quick scan, and it, I did one at the center of the syslog files. Okay, so I had a client limit of 100, and uh, my rate was zero. And the creator was our GRR worker. Well, you guys should know it by now, but the Asgard Management Center is a full-feature GRR server. And the agents that we have, our Asgard agents, are also based on GRR. And we have agents available for all operating systems. Now, if you were downloading that license file for an offline scan, you're going to need the Thor or Spark binary as well. So here on the landing page, you can download your Thor and Spark binaries as well, as well as any licenses you've generated. Okay. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in our next video where we'll be talking about the Asgard Analysis Cockpit. Thanks.